Okay, so now I want to talk about antagonists. You know, I'm going to tell you that that was a word that I really did not understand the meaning of for a long, long time. But now that I know about antagonists, I love to talk about antagonists in your writing. So here's what an antagonist is. An antagonist creates obstacles for your main character. And that means that they create problems. They create um, things that get in the way of what your main character is trying to do. So if your main character is pursuing a goal, they're trying to do something, the antagonists are anyone or anything that get in their way. And let me give you some examples. So an antagonist can be another character. So I think an obvious example of an antagonist is a bad guy, right? If there's an evil character, like maybe squirrels, or there's a villain, or you know, a monster, or a really bad guy, or a bully, that is an antagonist. And usually, if you have a character like that in your story, they're working against your main character. So maybe your main character is trying to do something good, and the antagonist is working against him or her. Now, that's an obvious example of antagonist, but I want to encourage you to think about not just one antagonist, but lots. If you have lots of antagonists in your story, your story will be very interesting. And I want to give you some tips. So think about other types of antagonists that you can have in your story. For example, other characters. They don't have to be bad characters. In fact, a lot of antagonists are good characters, and that might sound very surprising. An antagonist can be your character's best friend, can be a family member or a loved one, can be a pet, or if, you're, if your main character is a pet, it could be their beloved human. Um, it could be anything like that, any other character because those characters can create problems for your main character. Maybe they don't mean to. Maybe the best friend and your character disagree. Maybe that your character wants something and the best friend doesn't want them to have it. Or maybe the best friend and your main character have a fight. Maybe they have a big argument. That could be a problem. What about a family member? Let's say that your main character wants to enter a contest. They want to do something really powerful and strong. And what if they need permission from their parents and their parents who love them and who are very good parents think it's dangerous and so they won't give permission. That is a problem. What if it's a pet? What if your main character wants their pet to help them and the pet won't? What if the pet is causing the problem, like in Fenway and Hattie? Now, I'm also going to tell you about my favorite kind of antagonist, which is not one of the types I've already mentioned. My favorite type of antagonist are the kinds that come from within your main character himself or herself. Now, I know that's going to sound most surprising of all, but let me tell you what I mean. So your character will have flaws and weaknesses because all characters and people do. Nobody's perfect, right? So your character's flaws and weaknesses can get in their way and cause problems for them. For example, what if your character is afraid of something? What if, what if they're afraid of snakes? And what if they're trying to cross a river and there's a whole bunch of snakes there? The fear of snakes will be an obstacle. So there you go. Could be another, uh, could be something else. Could be that they are nervous or they don't have confidence in themselves. What if your character is trying to climb a mountain but your character doesn't believe they can do it? That creates a problem. What if your character is afraid of telling the truth to someone they love? That could cause a lot of problems. So you see, there are all different types of antagonists. So here's the tip. I would like you to think about all the types of antagonists that you can have in your story. Write them down in your writer's notebook. They can be bad characters. They can be good characters. They can come from within your main character themselves. And then there's a fourth type of antagonist that I've not mentioned yet, and that could be a thing like an event, 
It could be the weather. What if there's a tornado or a blizzard or a tsunami? All kinds of things could get in your character's way. So think about it. If your character is trying to meet with another character because they're going to make a plan and then that other character is late or they get sick or they can't make it, that's a problem. So make lists of all the types of antagonists and all the types of problems that they can cause. Because while you're writing your story, that is a great thing for you to look at when you're trying to come up with ideas in the middle of your story. Look at those antagonists and think, which antagonists can I put into my scene to cause problems?